What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and I am back today guys with another player review. As you can tell by the name of the squad and the name of this video, we have got the man of the match, Emmanuel Adebayo guys. A lot of people ask me to review this guy so obviously today I bring you that review. So his card face stats is 74 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting, 84 heading, 67 passing and 48 defending guys. So card face stats with him are half decent. Let's have a look at his in-game stats, see if there's anything special there. Uh, as usual, I will highlight a few. He's got 86 ball control, 85 dribbling, 90 finishing, uh, 87 heading, 90 shot power. So he's got some half decent stats. I mean, as you can see there as well, he's got 80, 86 strength which is something we all like to see. We always like to see our strikers having at least a half-decent stat, uh, strength stat, and Adebayo brings that. He's got 86 strength. So after seeing all of his stats combined, being his card face stats and his in-game stats, um, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I'd expect a fairly decent player in-game. And I honestly got to say, he is completely the opposite to that. I can safely say that Adebayor is one of the worst strikers that I have used in Ultimate Team this year. I haven't used his non-inform. I'm not going to because if he's worse than this, then I really don't, really, really, really do not want to use him, guys. Uh, this version of Adebayor is absolutely terrible. Let's go through his stats one by one. His pace says 74 pace on the card. I thought he felt slower than that. I mean, he's got a fairly decent burst of acceleration but after he starts going the, the the amount of time it takes for him to slow down is unbelievable guys um his dribbling is awful he felt slow and sluggish on the ball his dribbling was really stiff it felt awful i had a, a lot of trouble uh, dribbling with this guy so if you are buying him hoping that he's a good dribbler then i gotta say stop right there do not buy him purely for dribbling because is awful guys uh, same goes with his shooting I mean I scored a lot well when it comes to his shooting guys it's okay at best I wouldn't say it's awful uh, but the best aspect of his shooting has got to be his finesse shot I mean I scored f a few decent finesse shots in this video um, but it's nothing too special um, his long shots aren't that great guys I mean again I scored one or two in this video but they were very few and far in between guys uh, his passing is absolutely dreadful I mean if you're going to use him to you know as a uh, in a two striker formation to set up goals for the other striker then he's not going to be that reliable um, I mean the only reason I would recommend him uh, and I don't recommend him by the way guys but if I had to recommend him what I'd recommend you do is use him as a lone striker and get two fast wingers uh, and cross the ball a lot because the best aspect the best part of the man of the match out of bio uh, is his head in for me guys 84 head in on the card he felt a lot better than that uh, you, you will see from some of the header goals that I scored with him that they are fairly impressive guys so you know 84 head in seems a bit of a lie it fe feels a lot better than that in game guys so let's move on to my final thoughts on the man of the match Emmanuel Adebayo as usual, guys, we'll go through the strengths first. Very few strengths on this uh, on this uh, player, guys. One of the easiest players I've had to review. Um, he's got a very good finesse shot. Uh, he's got an amazing head in, and he's also got four-star skills. So that's another aspect of him that you skillers out there watching this video might like. Uh, some of his weaknesses, everything else. Literally, everything other than his finesse shot, his amazing head in, and his four-star skills is bad. His pace is awful, his passing is awful, his long range shooting is terrible, his finishing is inconsistent, his dribbling is terrible, his strength as well guys, for 86 strength he felt a lot weaker than that in game which is a big 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 surprise sorry guys. So is he worth it? i got to say no. He is one of the worst strikers I have used in Ultimate Team to date. I would not recommend this guy. But like I said, if if you do uh, really, really want to use him, then all I'd recommend you do is use him as a lone striker, get some fast wingers uh, either side of him, and cross the ball a lot. But then again, if you do use him as a lone striker, his work rates aren't the best for a lone striker in medium attacking and, ha in medium attacking and low defensive. Sorry, guys. So, you know, he might be out of position a lot. I did experience that quite often, that he was out of position a lot, and it got quite frustrating at times, guys. 
But uh, as you can see, I've given him a 4 out of 10. I think that shows how bad he was for me, guys. So that was my Man of the Match Adebayo review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video helped on, you know, if whether it helped you decide uh, whether or not to buy him. Uh, I honestly got to say he is not worth the coins, guys. So if you did like this video, please leave a like on this video. It really would help me out, guys. And hit that subscribe button today for more squad builders to, and player reviews to come in the future. And I will see you all in the next video. Ta-da, guys.